Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Well, it's October, Halloween time, one of my favorite times of the year. And I thought, no better time than now to make a video talking about five movies that I think you should watch during the Halloween season. So roll that intro. Well, it's October, and that only means one thing, watching scary movies as much as possible. As I started this year a tradition to where I would watch one horror movie every single night of October. It's been tough to do, but I'm trying to keep up with it. So I thought, what better time to make a video, five movies that I love watching during October to celebrate Halloween. Number five, Trick or Treat. Trick or Treat was made in 2007 and takes place over the course of Halloween in the fictional town of Warren Valley, Ohio. It's a story, it's told in a non-linear narrative, which characters crossing paths with each other throughout the film. At the center of the story is Sam, a peculiar trick-or-treater dressed in pajamas and a burlap sack over his head, who appears to enforce the rules of Halloween. It relates four different Halloween stories with a common element in them, all together. A character named Sam is present in all of the stories at one point or another. The character makes an appearance in each of the stories whenever a character breaks Halloween traditions. Going into this movie, I wasn't really expecting much, but this is a very good movie. It has some great twists, and I don't want to ruin them here, but it also has some great kills and just an overall awesome atmosphere. Everything in this movie screams authentic Halloween time. It's just all so realistic looking. It shocked me, the backgrounds and environments in this movie. I was very impressed. The first time I saw the preview, I kind of thought it was just trying to cash in on the Halloween season because Halloween was right around the corner. But the great characters and awesome culture behind this movie sticks to the subject material very well. I think you should check it out. If you want to watch an actual, intense, authentic Halloween experience, this movie is it. Definitely give it a watch. Number four, Child's Play. Child's Play is a 1988 horror film. It's a movie I watched as a kid and actually seen first on USA Up All Night, believe it or not. It's about a guy named Charles Lee Ray, a fugitive and serial killer, gets shot and before he dies, he performs a voodoo spell to transfer his soul into one of the good guy toy dolls that is laying beside him, causing the store to be struck by lightning and explode. Later on, a single widowed mother buys the good guy doll for her son named Andy, who was really wanting one for his birthday. She buys the cursed doll and gives it to Andy and chaos ensues. Chucky, the doll, comes alive only around Andy and makes him do things and tells him secrets for Andy to trust him. Chucky is a fantastic movie. It wasn't super hugely popular when it came out, but after some time it caught on and became a classic. For it being an 80s movie, the animations on Chucky are fantastic. The puppeteering is top notch. Plus his filthy mouth and brutal killing styles makes this movie a legit classic. So do yourself a favor and check it out. Number three, The Craft. The Craft is a 1996 supernatural horror film. The story follows a group of four outcast teenage girls at a fictional Los Angeles high school who perform witchcraft for their own gain but soon encounter negative repercussions. I remember seeing this as a teenager and it's really good. It's a cult classic now, but I loved it back in the day also. Four Hot Witches Fucking People Up was just awesome to me. Sarah Bailey, a troubled teenager with unusual abilities, has just moved from San Francisco to Los Angeles with her father and stepmother. At her new school, she forms a friendship with three outcast girls who are rumored to be witches. 
When one of the witches observes Sarah levitating a pencil in class, she and the group become convinced that Sarah is the right girl to complete their coven as the fourth, making them all powerful. Just something about this movie I really enjoy. I remember watching it all the time back in the mid-90s when it came out because I used to rent it from our local mom-and-pop rental store. Even today, it still holds up pretty good. All the characters have their own stories and are all very unique, especially the head witch. She is so damn evil in this movie. If you get a chance, check this one out. You can probably find it on one of the streaming services since it's Halloween time. Number two, Halloween. What can I say about this movie that hasn't already been said before? It's an absolute classic, legit horror, fantastic visuals, and perfect lighting, awesome environments, just an overall great movie. This movie came out in 1978. It's a slasher film directed and scored by the famous John Carpenter, and it holds up even today. Believe it or not, they're still making sequels for this franchise, even in 2020. So the plot tells about a mental patient who was committed to a sanctuarium for murdering his teenage sister on Halloween night when he was only six years old. Fifteen years later, he escapes and returns to his hometown to continue his killing spree. You soon find out that the crazy patient that escaped is named Michael Myers. For the entire movie, he stalks a female babysitter named Lori Strode. He stalks her from school, walking home from school, even to the Myers' old household. This movie needs to be watched by everybody that is a horror movie fan in general. It laid the groundwork for many movies that came out in the following years, and they all owe a great deal of gratitude to this movie, I think. The amount of sequels that this franchise has had over the past 30 years is staggering. Plus, they already filmed a movie for 2020 and 2021 already. I try and at least watch this movie every single October. It's an absolute classic. And I can't forget to mention, it has one of the best horror movie theme songs ever created. I'm sure you all know this, and I'm sure everyone has already seen it. And if you have, that's fantastic. But if you haven't, you're definitely doing yourself a disservice if you haven't seen it. So give it a chance. It's pure horror movie bliss. Number one, The Thing. The Thing is a 1982 American science fiction horror film directed by John Carpenter. It tells the story of a group of American researchers who go to Antarctica and encounter The Thing, a parasitic extraterrestrial life form that assimilates then imitates other organisms. As the movie progresses, the group of friends is overcome by paranoia and conflict as they learn that they can no longer trust each other and that any one of them could be the thing. This is a movie that I had seen when I was pretty young, in the early 90s as a matter of fact. And at the time, I didn't really completely understand the plot. But as time went on and I became older, I went back and watched it again, and I gotta say, this movie is an absolute masterpiece. Everything from the characters to the atmosphere and the incredible weather effects and lighting make this movie a hidden gem, I guess you could say. And I say hidden gem because this is actually a remake. Most people are fond of the original, which, to be fair, that's a good movie also. But this version to me, is the definitive version to see. The main character that Kurt Russell plays really shines in this movie. His acting is top-notch, and it really makes you feel like you're in the middle of Antarctica in a huge snowstorm, trapped with a couple of your friends that you can no longer trust because they might be infected. You have no clue whether they are or not, so it makes for some intense scenes throughout the movie. And the pacing of the movie is great also. And one thing that really sticks out, in my opinion, and is totally 80s, is the classic gore scenes. The makeup artist did an unbelievable job creating the special effects for this movie. I can't believe this was made in 1982. So if you don't have time to watch all five of these, and you can only watch one, I would recommend watching this one. Especially if you haven't seen it before. It's gripping, thrilling, and will have you on the edge of your seat wondering which one of the crew members is the thing. 
So take some time out this Halloween season and watch this. You will not regret it. Well, that's just five movies that I think you guys should watch during the Halloween season. They're all great. Give them a shot. Thanks for tuning in. If you have any comments, leave them down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, keep on reminiscing, baby.